In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, we've all gathered here at the beginning of that great journey that we've heard about so often. What we're called to do is to forgive. This word has, it comes from a number of sources, depending on which language you go into. But if we stick with with our language for just a moment, if we go to other languages, we'll be here all night. But in our own language, what does it mean to forgive? This is something that many of us so desperately need. We need to be forgiven. We need to forgive. The word that we have comes from a couple of older words that have been forced together. And the literal meaning of this word is to let go, to forego what others have done, that we may be, that what we have done may be foregone. The stakes for this couldn't be higher. The stakes for this is nothing less than salvation. We know from this morning's gospel reading that to not forgive is an impediment for salvation. Secular psychology, or at least secular pop psychology, will tell us a more immediate reason why it is that we need to be forgiving. Because otherwise, we are carrying this around willingly. We are carrying around the faults of others We're carrying around the the faulty actions of others and we're adding them to our own burden. I don't know about you, but my own burden's enough. I think that's true for many of us here. When we're going on this journey, we want to be as light as possible. We want to start off as fresh as possible. This is what we do here. We do this by something incredibly physical. A prostration for each person. A prostration over and over. Those of us who have, who have undergone the right of forgiveness more than once may be looking around and counting how many prostrations that we will be doing tonight. And we're going to be remembering it tomorrow. <laughs> And we're going to be remembering that we are forgiving and have been forgiven. Even as we wish that we were perhaps a little fitter. (laughs) This incredibly physical action is something that will stay with us. It's yet another physical action on on top of fasting. Something that reminds us that we continue this race. Something that reminds us that forgiving can be hard. Forgiving costs something, but it gives us so much more. The forgiveness of others means that we can undergo this journey, that we have a shot of succeeding. So when we face each other, when we call brothers, even those who hate us, when we look in the eyes of those in our community, those, it can vary from those we've had a lot of contact with and have probably offended in some way, to those we've barely seen or barely know. And sometimes this is the fault that we're asking forgiveness for. Not for what we did to them, because it would it, it's sin is cosmic, but that is that does feel like it's a long bow to draw. When we look in the eyes of the one that we haven't had much to do with, we're seeing someone that we've fallen short of by who we should have been and weren't. So when we ask forgiveness, we're asking forgiveness for all that we have done and shouldn't have 
for all that we have should have been, for all that we should have been and aren't. And we ask forgiveness from the depths of our heart, knowing that we too wish to be forgiven for all that we know we have done and for all that we don't even know. So tonight, let's let that go. And I'm sure that we'll go home and we'll look at the remaining, the final remaining dairy products and, and make sure that they're gone and that nothing goes to waste. <laughs> we'll make it sound very noble. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll begin fresh. Tomorrow we'll begin clean. Tomorrow we'll begin forgiven and forgiving. Amen.